Hey friends, welcome back to My Kitchen, My Rules. And I, I gotta thank y'all. I don't know why y'all keep sending me presents and stuff, but I got the coolest present this week. I got some utensils that say My Kitchen, My Rules from Atlantic Bay Mortgage. Now granted, it was a thank you for teaching a training class to a bunch of mortgage professionals, but I love you Atlantic Bay, thank you. And then Sue Drum and Elizabeth Mendenhall sent me these nice utensil crocs that left them at the office and they didn't make it home yet. I'll show y'all some time. So we're gonna make fast, easy, and cheap tonight. So if you're in the mood for fast, easy, and cheap, and also tasty, this is your supper. So I've already got my rigatoni noodles bubbling over here. And by the way, those boxes were four for $5. So we got like $1.25 boiling over here. Got my big skillet heating up, and it's got a, about a tablespoon or two of olive oil in it. Gonna heat that up. And then we're gonna put in some ground turkey. And I've had some feedback that I'm supposed to be rinsing my meat, which I did not grow up rinsing meat, so I don't know about that. But I'm gonna guess I don't have to rinse ground meat. I just don't know, um, but I appreciate the feedback that y'all like to give me, because I do learn things. But I'm not gonna rinse ground turkey, because I think that's weird. And so then we're gonna flavor that with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, because y'all know that's what your ground meat enjoys, is some Worcestershire sauce. It's gonna be fast. Ooh, it's popping. Ooh, Lord. That is active. I'll be cleaning the kitchen later, too. Which is crazy, because y'all know I do like to work in a clean kitchen. But that's fine. For the record, I know that I am wearing white pants, and I know that it is after Labor Day. Do not judge, because these are my favorite capris, and I went for a walk this afternoon. So, you know, it's my kitchen, my rules. But I'm not leaving the house, frankly, so don't worry about that. All right, your brown turkey is now going to brown. What you're gonna put in it while it's browning, a little bit of garlic powder. We've got McCormick's here. Not that they pay me anything to tell you that, but that's just the brand that I like. Maybe one day they'll be a sponsor of Lee Brown's program, you never know. And I guess in the normal person's measure, that's like a teaspoon if you're a measuring type. Then we're going to put in some crushed red pepper. The amount that you put in is how spicy you like it. I'm going to keep mine not super spicy because my mother is eating with me and she can't handle the spice. But you know, I'm like, it's probably a quarter of a teaspoon. And probably for you who like a little bit of kick, maybe closer to a teaspoon. And then we're going to put in a little bit of kosher salt, primarily because, let's throw the rest of it in the pasta. Because ground turkey is a real lean meat, y'all, so this is extra healthy. And by the way, that was a $4 package of meat. Well, like a good professional, you know, I did not put my phone in airplane mode. And I had a buyer calling me back. So, you know, yay, real estate. We talk to our clients all the time. But I was talking about dollar cost average in your spices when it went away. All right, so my turkey's about brown. You know, that takes you about five minutes. So we're at, what, $5.25 so far? Now we're gonna put in one can of crushed tomatoes. Now this was, oh, a dollar. I bought the Lowe's Foods brand. The only rule of thumb that y'all know to have on your canned items, just make sure it doesn't have added sugar unless it's supposed to. So I do like sugar. Y'all know how much I love my Dixie Crystals, but I like it where it belongs. And I do not think that sugar belongs to be added to every blasted thing that you buy. Just like soy, y'all. They sneak soy into a lot of your stuff too. That's not cool. And I can just tell you to go to the interwebs and look that up as to why I don't want extra soy in my house and what it does to your children, especially your boys in developing years. But you know, y'all are watching this for a recipe, not for conspiracy theories that may or may not be true, but are definitely true when you do the research. So anyway, we've got our pasta here. Our oven is preheating to 350 degrees. See, y'all knew it was going to be 350 because that's how we roll over here in my kitchen, my rules. It's my favorite temperature. And the other ingredient you should have at the ready while that's going is a log of fresh mozzarella. Now, my neighbor is showing me how to make my own fresh mozzarella, so be watching for that to come up in a soon-to-be-released episode as soon as I'm satisfied with it. And also, you should be watching for a recipe for how to take care of your home arthritis. That is going to be probably the most exciting episode y'all have ever seen is how to have a home remedy for your arthritis. Okay, see ground turkey is your friend because it cooks quickly. And because it's lean, there's not a lot of grease to drain off over there. 
So I'm just going to toss in this giant can, minus the lid. The lid doesn't really cook so well of crushed tomatoes. And then I've got some McCormick's Italian seasoning. Now, if you don't want to use the pre mix you can get some rosemary and some thyme and some basil or sing along to some Simon and Garfunkel from Scarborough Fair. Do y'all remember? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. They were pretty much making some Italian seasoning. So there we go. By the way, the sauce that I'm making for my baked ziti here also is the most best meat sauce ever if you just want to make it for spaghetti or to put it on any of your Italian kind of things. But for this purpose, it's going to go into my baked ziti. So now I'm going to let it sit at a simmer and just be fine until the noodles are done cooking. We're going to cook your noodles to al dente. If you cook them too soft, y'all, they will just get destroyed in the oven. So we're going to let all this sit and simmer for about a minute. Your total of maybe 10 minutes of prep time. And then I'll show you what happens next. I'll see you in a second. All right, so everything's just about done, and while we're waiting on that sauce to finish marinating itself and the noodles to get done, I'm going to pour my mama a glass of Pine Ridge Vineyards Cabernet. And, you know, I'm not really a wine drinker, except that, you know, on Sundays, we remember that Jesus turned water into wine, so it's a good day to drink it. And this particular bottle is quite good, apparently, according to wine drinking people. And I got it at a Realtor fundraiser for our political action activities. And one thing that y'all might not know if you are a normal person who's not a Realtor, or if you're a Realtor who doesn't always pay attention, and hey friends, I love you if you're that person, is we do a lot of work to make sure that you can find sell houses. And the world that we're in has a lot of politicians who are a little bit shifty and shady, and they would gladly take away that right. So me and my people, we fight that by things doing like fundraisers. So anyway, I just drained my noodles and now I'm mixing it into my sauce because we're trying to make this as one dish as possible with, you know, four different dishes. Perfect timing, y'all hear that? My stove is ready to roll. So all I'm gonna do is mix my noodles into my prep sauce here, get them coated a little bit. Then I'm going, ah, snap, mm, tastes good. I know you're supposed to taste the sauce as you go, but frankly, I have made this before, so I already know that it's good. And I don't want to jinx myself. All right, so let's cut the stove off. And now we're gonna dump it in our corningware container here and do the final touches before we throw it into the oven and make as big a mess as possible. I guarantee this is about to hit my white countertops and make a mess which is why I don't know why I clean my house before I cook. I guess I should clean after, but oh well. <gasps> Shazam, that's like the cleanest I've ever done. Dishes ready to roll. Now, you've got your noodles in your dish. See, look, you thought those restaurants did something special. You don't, you're just paying extra for it. And I got this log of mozzarella, which I got on special for $7. Isn't that funny that the mozzarella is the most expensive thing in the dish? Now, I imagine you could buy the store brand shredded, but I like the big old log mozzarella for recipes like this because it's got more tooth to it. And that's just how I roll. So this is gonna make this right out about a, what, $13 dish or thereabouts. So if you need to spend eight, buy the shredded mozzarella on clearance. And then we basically just put on enough to cover up the top. There's your pre, and now we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. That's all it takes. And we'll have amazing baked ziti. We'll have leftovers for days and you can feed a crowd. So I'll show y'all what it looks like at the end. Enjoy your wine and I'll see you for the finale. I know this is your favorite part, the big reveal. 20 short minutes of cook time, like nine minutes of prep time. And seriously, y'all could just about open your own restaurant. Look how pretty that is, see? Serve that to all your friends, family, and guests so good put some garlic sauce on the side make sure that if you enjoy it you put me a nice comment or send me a picture of what you made and subscribe for more and i'll see you here on my kitchen my rules